PG for parental guidance. Some scenes may be unsuitable for young children. Sometimes I dream my dad's still alive. I get so happy in my dream. And then I wake up and realise he's still dead. But it takes a few seconds and I look around the room, expecting to see him standing there, smiling at me, telling me to get my skates on for school. Those few seconds are just the best. The best. I said Bobby Moore was the greatest Englishman who ever lived. When I was little, Miss Hallam's class, she read us the stories about fairies being able to read your thoughts. And that's why I don't want to stop thinking about my dad. Just in case he's reading my thoughts. Why do you keep your dad there? Shouldn't you sprinkle him around? Somewhere nice? We're not allowed to bring him at West Ham football ground anymore. Mum asked. We don't learn off the end of the pier at South End. I haven't been able to eat fish since. Then we'll win today, mate. Of course we will. I've got this little photo of my dad. Well, I've got loads of photos, obviously. I've got one special little photo I keep in a locket around my neck. But sometimes, I look at it, and I swear I've seen the eyes move. Just a little wiggle, but a little wiggle nonetheless. That's a sign I shouldn't let my mum go dancing, if ever friends? there was one. He's a bus conductor, any road. Judy's dad. So what's he know about dancing? With his dancing shoes on his silly feet. Hello, mate. He dribbles. And his sellotape glasses slide down his greasy nose. And he wears ties. <laughs> All right. Where are you going? Church. How can you dance when you're as lame as him? Jude said you had a fight with another dad at football. Another dad? Well, excuse me, I'm a mum. I'm getting a lot of grief from her mum about, well, she thinks Jude dresses like a boy, which she does, but... How is Tessa? Horrific. She's still with, um, Derek. He's got a Saab convertible now. Still, I've got a bit of a sunroof coming. <laughs> That's a corn cool circle, isn't it? Uh, uh, it's on me, Gwen. Thanks. One for you, and one for little Frank.
My dad's on the fish tank at home in the sitting room. In this little brown pot they call an urn. When Mum said we were going to pick up the urn, I had in mind one of those great big Greek ones from the olden times. Because I thought it would have to be the same size as my dad. But it's smaller than my rabbit, which Dad said we had to call Guinness. As my mum said at the time, now there's a surprise. But she said it in a voice that was only pretending to be cross. She loved him. Technically, my old son, you're bang on the money. However... Dad? Dad! I knew you wouldn't abandon me. Are you an angel? Trainee. <laughs> Do you remember that egg we had when you couldn't get your community badge at Cubs? Well, the same sort of thing's happening to me. But you're the greatest dad ever. You've got to be the bestest in the whole of heaven. That's a good point. That's a very good point and very well put. There's more credit than she give me. Got some fish and chips. Do I spoil you mm. or do I spoil you? Can't she see ya? Nah. <laughs> Angel yet? Does that make you a ghost? She'd have me down as the devil. But you're scared of ghosts. I'm scared enough of me. Casper the Friendly Ghost without a cushion in front of your face. Mum said we don't have to sleep with the landing light on anymore since she died. What are you muttering about, Frankie? I can't hear a word you're saying, you know. She's the reason I died. What do you mean? Pardon? I bet clean my ears out once I've had my chips. What you don't wear football team? And you should be playing wing bank, not out front. And why are you letting them wear gloves? They are not French! I knew you were watching. I saw you on the cloud. Mm. Give us a kiss. Shall I put your vinegar on? Frank. 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 What, what you done? You banged your head, yeah? Frankie, Frankie, look, look, uh, I'll find the doctor. I'll, I'll get an ambulance, yeah? I'll get an ambulance. I'm so dead. OK, nearly there. Nearly there, Frankie. I'm so dead. Do you feel sick at all, Frank? I don't think there's any damage. You having a headache or anything? Can't feel a bump. And there's no signs of any concussion. Anything else you want to tell me, Frank? About the way you're feeling? You feel OK now, I mean? Good. Thank you. How did Dad die, Mum? You know how Dad died. Why are you asking me how Dad died, Frank? It's normal to think that you see him. I used to think that I saw him. On the bus, out on the street. It's normal. But well, I've seen him. What's brought all this on, Frank? He came back. 
We have a nice life together, don't we? What should I do? Do your best, that's all you can do. His dad's died. I am trying my best, honest. He's bound to be struggling to make sense of everything. Is he just... pretending? If you feel ill, you feel ill. I love him so much. I only care about him. I don't care about myself. But he's never cried, and that can't be right, can it, Doctor? I, mean, I didn't want him to die either. Of course not. I am trying my best. I bet you've got a lovely family at home. I bet you've got a... Excuse me. I love everything at home. This is good. This is good. What is? You've never cried. Everyone says that you should. Do you know how I stop myself from crying? I hold my breath and I feel it coming on. I hold my breath. You have a cry. He's the best, Mum. I mean, he's the best dad, Mum. I know what you mean. He's an angel. Train me anyway. I was going to buzz, but then I saw you and, um... You bottled it. She's not allowed to play football anymore. My dad still buys me an Easter egg. Maybe he's the only man that's ever really loved me. But whatever happens, we're still mates, aren't we? If she plays football again, I might. Tessa's giving me a hard time. She says I'm turning Jude into a tomboy to turn her against her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, Jeff. All I ever wanted was a, a little life, and everything's getting so big, it's doing my brain box in. I had Frank up the hospital tonight. Hospital? What happened? He cried for the first time. They say if you want to make God laugh, tell him your five-year plan, don't they? I found him lying in there. His father's ashes all around him. His ashes? Well, one of us is going nuts. And I was all right when I woke up this morning. The hospital can't find anything wrong with him. I'm sure he wasn't the worst husband in the history of the world. I'd better over the rest of this up. I think I'd better go. Guinness? Is that you? What did I say to you? What? You'll find it under your bed. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said you looked under your bed. What are you doing? Well, I said to you, as it disappeared off the face of the earth, and you remind me what you said to me. Yeah. And did I or did I not say, have a butcher's under your bed. You're an optical illusion. I'm a what? 
It's in the book. Yeah. That's a bloody fine book this is as well. You're only something I think I can see. Did you tell your mum that? Tell your mother that? I tried. Yeah. She never would listen, that woman. She's worried enough if I get an headache. Yeah, well, she'd soon you forget me altogether. That's why I came back when I did, you know, to make sure you didn't. It's like this. I'm a man with a plan, boy. <laughs> oh, how'd you do that? Dad? 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 Where'd you go? Daddy? Dad? 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 <laughs> be careful, Dad! That'll be daft, son. I'm dead already. <laughs> so what's the worst that can happen? You're afraid of what? Remember? You're the only window cleaner in Newham. With Vigo. We've just called, son. Do you know I think I had a premonition? A what? Somehow... Somehow I could see myself getting killed falling. I just didn't realise it was down to your mother. What do you mean? Was it... Oh, my God, Frank, what are you doing? What are you doing, Frank? I was only looking. At what? What at? A pigeon! It's gone now. Frank, what am I going to do with you? Get in! Get in! What is the matter with you? I know. What? What do you know? I'll tell you what. Why don't I do us both some wheat bix with warm milk, eh? And then we'll have a chat till the cows come up. What are you looking for? Oh, I knew it. Yes. What? Just when you think something disappeared off the face of the earth. I've been pushed. Bingo! It tips up under your bed. Why don't we take the bikes for a ride to Open Forest tomorrow, eh? We could have a pub lunch. Mm, no, thanks. No, thanks? I, I'm your mum. You love me. Sorry. What have you got to feel bad about? I know nothing. I am a widow, and your missus. Yeah, and all about my missus. Your missus left you, and she ain't ever coming back. She can't stand you, Jeff. She dumped you from a bloody great height. So you popping in to see me at work? Oh, I've had enough of you. Maybe it's you. What? What about me? To 
tip of it out. Maybe he can only come out when I'm on my own. Wouldn't you just know it? Still, isn't it horrid how people can't get on? What do you mean? Adults are forever telling us to be nice to each other all the time. Just get on. Why can't you children just get on? They can't even get on themselves. They can't be nice to each other. Tell her to tell her dad to stop sniffing around your mum. Tell him to, to stop sniffing around my mum. Pardon? Tell him to stop sniffing around my mum. What do you mean? He's trying to take my place. The ugly Jeff. Tell her you hate him. I hate him. Don't say that. He's ugly and nasty. You're being nasty. Tell her you don't want to be mates with her anymore. Yeah? Well, maybe we shouldn't be mates. You don't want to be mates with me anymore. Yeah. So get out, now! I'm sorry. Don't be daft. I, I shouldn't have said that she dumped you from a great height. I, I didn't mean... I don't know. It, it's not that. Take no notice of me. I was just being gobby. It's just I'm, like, sick to the back teeth to the way Tessa treats me. For two years she's been gone. I'm sorry. You, you you got enough on your plate without me turning on the old waterworks. Are you all right? Me? Yeah, of course I'm all right. It's just I've got to be mum and dad to Frank. I wish I could just be mum. You're brilliant with him. He was hanging out the window. I didn't feel brilliant. I wish you were my mum. I obviously didn't mean that. I mean, I was trying to compliment you, like. Shut up, Jeff. Okie dokie. And here comes Hurst. He's got some fiddler on the pitch. They think it's all over. It is now. It's... He can teach the world a thing or two. Whoa! <laughs> The first sign of emotion He's here! He's there! He's there! We blew him away! Bobby Moore! Bobby Moore! I've taken a lot of skin off me! Heroes! Oi! It's no laughing matter! You ain't said you'd just blood for the West Ham Cool, man! All right, all right, all right. Now we can start my mission. Come on. All right, this got be better than Cheshire and World of Adventure. You never took me there. You said it was shut out the weekend. Well, I wish I'd have took you there. I wish I'd have done everything with you. I mean, I was planning to before I got me mothering in Green Street. Lying there, crushed and broken. That's on me local. You're the best dad in the world! I oh, know. Watch it! Seagulls. Oh. Hey, look at that down there! Here we go! Tell Prince! Aye, aye! Woohoo! Woohoo! I guess there's no easy way to say this, he said. But I'm having an affair with Derek. And I'm leaving you to live with him. And with that, she got up and walked out. Derek who? I thought. 
He was always just Mr Finnegan to you, I suppose. Exactly. I've never liked Ed Masters. No. Thank God Judy's left the primary. That's why they reckon they never told me. It had been going on since the infants. You know, they didn't say anything because of the... Circumstances? There's me racking my brain, thinking, Derek who? Then I realised what she smelled of. She smelled of the star for her. It's all my fault. Now, did you see that? Did you? Son. Tell me that that disgustingness was a figment of my imagination. All this kissy kissy nonsense has been occurring since she murdered me last Christmas. Him instead of me. Me? Can you believe that? Well, that's it. She's asked for it now. What? You're coming on a journey. I'm going to show you the proof. What proof? What do you mean, Dad? Haven't you been reading your big book of knowledge? Look, if we travel faster than the speed of light, i.e. 300,000 kilometres a second, then we start to travel back in time. But you're still a train. Very fashionable when I was a young man. Back in time, aren't we? Yeah. Ah. I'll tell you what, I was damn fine good looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Under the carriage down. Is that why you no, brought no, me here? Steady, steady. Bit of a pond, you know. Down we go. A few ducks. <laughs> creating a romantic ambiance. You'll be going home in an ambiance if you don't start behaving yourself. So what are we going to do if I say yes? Go for a pizza? Are you saying yes, Saki Nickers? I'm not saying I'm saying yes. No. But I'm not saying I'm saying no, either. What have you asked her, Dad? Shh. Look. I've got loads of birds, good sorts, quite keen, so you better make your mind up a bit lively. <laughs> Why don't you mm -hmm. take me out mm -hmm. on one of them boats and ask me properly on one knee? Well, waste my money on one of them boats when you might say no? I don't think so. I want to be with you forever and always. I'll never stop loving you. Is that a yes, then? You got me a ring? Yes, actually. 
Und schön. Und er und ihr Bild. Neville. I weren't gonna say anything. Owing to the fact that I didn't want you to think that I'd trapped you. Trap me. Um you know. Having my baby. You're having my baby. I'm having a baby. I'm having a baby. Oh, um, you are having a baby. Wait, stop, Neville, stop. Mm. <laughs> stop it. Mm. Stop. We're stop. really having a baby. Stop it. Show me the bushes. See. It was perfect. That was you, son. I just put you in mummy's tummy and she'd made me the happiest man in the world. something about those guns. Do you know where McCord's turned them over to Nachicoa? It's about an hour's ride from here. If we had horses. Frank! Dawn, eh? Frank, come on! Once Nachicoa gets his hands on him, this whole territory will be on fire before night. We're the only ones who can do anything about it. We can't do it sitting here. Have you been having a nap? Not I got sunny delight. Two's up on it. Don't think I don't know why you're all happy. You kill whites. My dick Come on, Guinness. Where did Dad propose to? Not down on his knees, that's for sure. It was down by the boating lake, wasn't it? Yeah. You know it was. Judy, come around later. That would be convenient, wouldn't it? What's that supposed to mean? You were pregnant. When? Down by the boating lake. You've got a good memory. I know the truth, and you hate it. You don't make this easy for me, do you, Frank? You would want me to forget about him altogether, wouldn't you? Oh, do shut up. No, I know. What? What do you know, exactly? Dad didn't fall out of the window of the pub. What then? What happened? He was pushed. Pushed by you. For God's sake! I have spent the last year looking after you, and that's fine. It's fine. But I hurt too, you know. It wouldn't hurt you to look after me once in a blue moon. I'm sorry, Frank. I'm sorry, mate. Come here. Get off me! What do you care? You hate me! If I hated you, why would I give up everything? Everything for you! You haven't given up everything for me! Not last Christmas, not now! I saw you! Do you want to know the truth about your father, eh? Eh? Do you? Well, I'll tell you. He wasn't interested in us. He wasn't interested in you and me. Oh, Frank, Frank. Get off me! Murderer! 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 Gwen? Uh, hi, Jeff. Look, I'm sorry. We had a bit of a row. Come to apologise, take him on. What do you mean? Frank. Frank? Well, he's not here. Hi, Judy. Not here? Oh, well, she's going to her mum's for the night, hence the uh, shock frock. We're waiting for her to come back from the dinner and dance, eh, Judy? No, he's not here. Have you seen him? Frank? Do you know where he is, Jude? No. Where is he, Judy? He's annoyed with you two. What about us two? He hates me now because of it all. Because of what all? Where is he, Jeff? Where is he? Hey, 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 hey. Don't mind me. You ready, Judy? Well, it was just done. Uh, Gwen was upset. You think I care, you silly little man? You look nice, Judy. This old thing. Judy, please. Please. Tell me where we're Judy, please. 
Judy, come on, please. You might be at Tower Bridge. You go there when we bake maths sometimes. Hey? Sorry, Dad. Tower Bridge? I've got to go, Jeff. Tower Bridge! What have I done? Shall I come with you? You're gonna ruin your strides laying about in all that filth. Frankie, do you wanna see me rise like a young Jeff Hurst? <laughs> More to Hurst! There's people on the pitch. They think it's all over. It is now. <laughs> I've told Mum. Told her what I think. She hates me. She's a very unforgiving woman. It's odd. You're something you used to be scared of. What? A ghost. <laughs> Come here. Where are we going? Come on, let's have a little fly about. Hold it, hold it. Wait for the lights. Look left, look right. Look at London, it's beautiful. Show you why I'm scared of the dark. Come on. Who's that in my bed? It's you. I remember those pee jams. See us. Yeah, well, sometimes you can see and hear yourself. Dad! Mom! Me out! Me out! I'm just out. What have I seen? What is it? I should never let you see the exorcist. Oh, my God! It was hideous! Turn the all light on! There's nothing here. There is something there. Careful! Yeah, I know. Careful! Careful! It was horrible! So that's why you always slept with the land of the night. I was right, now. I did see something. Mother didn't believe me. I just didn't know it was. You said it was all good. Who's there? Can't you hear that whispering? Yeah. And chains are rattling. Don't take the mick. Oh, wasn't she beautiful? She still is. Come on then. Come on, me and Daddy's bed, eh? Oh. Come on then. You don't do everything anyhow. Yes, I do. I'm working all day. <sighs> you clean a few windows. I'm a window cleaner. Shh. You go for a drink and float a bear all day. Go to sleep. Don't think I don't know what you get up to when you float about. Coming home, smelling a yard lease. Okay, Chanel, was it? Yeah. Well, it was the Yardleys the last time you bought me any smellies. I love you, Mum. I love you, Dad. Mm, I love you, boy. Christmas! 
last Christmas. Who put that tree up? What's the matter with it? It's on the wonk. I made that angel in Miss Loosely's class. Ah, she was right there, Miss Loosely. She had a bit of a fancy for me. He died last Christmas. You're my footprints in the snow. You know what you got your donut? You've opened them before. You're in the past, remember? Oh. I saw them all, apart from the Bobby Moore video you got me. What? Why have you brought us to last Christmas, Dad? Because I wanted to make you the best Christmas ever. I still got your goodbye photo. Well, it wasn't a goodbye photo. It you just... said goodbye. What's happening, Dad? What happened? Are you sure, sure, sure it's all right? Jude? Jude! Uh, Jude's gone straight to Frank's room. Is that allowed? I shouldn't worry. The worst they can do is swap Premier League stickers. <laughs> oh, um, just, um, nothing much. Um, one for you, one for Frank. Like I say, little things. I mean, I wish I could afford oh, a bit. Shut up, Jeff. Right. Why don't you bang him under the tree? Well, happy Christmas. Likewise. Do you fancy a lager? What do you reckon? I'll have one, shall I? One tin won't hurt. Only if I throw it at you. <laughs> Make yourself at home, mate. Spend the night with my old woman and guzzle my lager, why not? Oh. What, are you not having one? Oh, don't worry about me. You know what? I mean, I know it should be the other way round, but, but me, I love room temperature white wine and cold red wine. What's the matter with me, eh? Nothing. Don't go all soppy on me. Oh, yeah. Is this your first Christmas without, you know, on your own? It's Neville coming round today. I see Frank, you know, Christmas, etc. Yeah, he popped round the other week with a Bobby Moore video. I, uh, I wrapped it and put it under the tray. Are you sure you don't mind me and Judy limpeting in on you for oh, Christmas dinner? Don't be daft. We're delighted. You can limp it on me any time. See, she's flirting. See that, Frank? She's flirting with him like some kind of flirt. Do you like our tray? It needs a bigger bucket. Mm. What a div. Frank don't mind about his dad. He don't oh, worry. He's such a pretend these days. A pretend? A pretense, I mean. I could hardly tell Frank that his father's got some dolly dimple barmaid he'd rather spend his time with. Neville reckons I've let myself go. He says I'm not worth being married to. Come on. What did she mean? What did she mean? Look, we were a bit early. We come back later, right? You, you saw her flirting. You saw her flirting. No, but what does she mean? I, I, I don't know what she means, but you saw her flirting. He's high. 
guys are following me. He's watching me, I know it. What does she mean? You reckon she let herself go? No, that wasn't the bit I wanted you to see. It was the next bit. Come on. Let's have a little float about and we come back here later, eh? What? What? You tucked her, ain't you, Dad? No. No wonder she don't like you. Don't like me? Everybody likes me. I'm lovable. I'm missed, that's what I am. Come on. Where are we going? My wake. I'll show you, nobody likes me. Self another boyfriend now, don't I? When's the raffle? Why's that, darling? Fancy your chances. You're, you're supposed to be in mourning, Donna. Yeah, hey, I'm not being funny or anything. I don't like to see anyone cop it, do you know what I mean? He was just getting a bit too clingy in the end, you know. Other ones, well, start getting a bit desperate, don't they? Yeah. Mm. I know what it is, I know what it's not. They're not in touch with their true feelings. I mean, that's why they're giving it large, so they can mask their grief. It's real! Father Christmas is real! You told me you were in that. <laughs> and a very Merry Christmas to you, young Frank. Do you know everyone in the world's name? There's nothing I don't know. Oi. I want a word with you. If you don't mind, Frank, give us a few six. <laughs> don't start going into one. <laughs> it's the kids, though, really, isn't it? They're the ones that get mullered in the crossfire. Don't let him squash you, Gwen. I knew you were looking at me. Ah, shut it. What? 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 Do not, I repeat, do not play the hard man with me. There's a young boy in agony there, your young boy. There's no need to shout, I'm just here. Your mission, to earn your wings, was to make everything all right down here on Earth. I got waylaid, Father Christmas. Ah, I can see your horns appearing. <laughs> <laughs> Shave up, or you know what'll happen to you. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't love him. I've run out of love for him. He can do what he wants, but that's fine. He can't hurt me anymore. Good. What is going on? You were talking to Father Christmas. Then you went off and I lost sight of you. Oh, sorry. Not me. Jeff and Judy pop round. Yeah, with, with some presents in there. Yeah, I see him giving you a little bit more than a present. Excuse me. You be warned. Say nothing, Muppet. What are you doing, Neville? 
Well, well say, say, say my friend was to come in and see... and witness the two of you. What two? You two! Witness what, I mean? You just couldn't wait, could you? You just couldn't wait to get your laughing gear around the first mug who came through the door. No, I'll, I'll nip off then. You stay where you are. You don't... You, will have a, you, know. you seriously think that you can replace me with him? Muppet. Toilet! What is the matter with you, Neville? I'll tell you when he's gone. He's not going, you are! It's my house! It's my house! Look, look, I think I'd better go and wait in the hallway, eh? What are you playing at, Bush? I'm attempting to shake some sense into you. I'm getting dizzy, let me down. It's time you face facts. Look, look, I don't want to be sick all over you, pal. Serious. In your 42 years on Earth, you blew it. If you don't want to blow it for eternity, Allow that child to let go. OK! Pardon? OK! <laughs> Dad! Dad! Dad, can you hear me, Dad? Don't worry, I'll, I'll wait now. You stay there, Jeff. <sighs> it's Christmas, babe. Yeah, I know. I made a mistake. I bet I did and all. What are you like, Neville? What? Storming in here? Barking at Jeff like you're one of the bloody Trudy twins or something? Look, I come home at Christmas and I see him kissing my wife. What's going on? Come home for Christmas? <laughs> are you having a laugh or what? You left me, remember? No. Yes! You took Dimbo Donna to Disney! Never even left enough money for French school dinners! Yeah, that was just... You told me I wasn't worth being married to. Yeah, but well, that was just an argument. I mean, that don't count. So how far you got with that? You saw how far I'd got. I can't live like this anymore, Neville. It's no good for me and it's no good for Frank. Frank loves me, ask him. Am I blinded? No, you're not. You could have been. But to be a good dad, you've got to put your family first. Well, I'm here, aren't I? For ten years, we have played second best to whoever the latest bit of crump is. It, it's what you like, Neville. I could change. Please, Neville, don't make me. I'm, I'm exhausted with you. It's you that's ruined this family. Look. Why do you think I keep coming back? Don't you think that tells you something? Why do you want me to be unhappy? Stop trying to lure me back into unhappiness. I just don't want you to end up with that sad, ugly Jeff taking you away from me. You'd gone! You'd left us! It's not a competition between you and Jeff! If it was, who'd win? Please, I'm begging you. Just leave us alone. Let's just have an happy family Christmas together. You said I'd let myself go. Oh, well. Yeah? Well, well now I'm letting you go. Oh. Please stop this. It's Christmas. You're breaking the kids heart. What's happening? Just just let me come back. <laughs> but I promise you, I'll really, really try to get us back together as a, as a family, like, like we were. Please. Please, Mum, say yes. Please, 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 please. Come on, please. 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 I know... I know I've been a naughty boy, and I, and I promise you, it won't happen again. I promise you. This... 
Just let me come back and we'll end up happily ever after, yeah, Frank? Mum. I don't understand, Frank. Please, Mum. It ain't gonna happen again. Mum, please. There's some things you just don't understand, Frank. If you're telling me you prefer that to me, I'll leave and you'll never see me again. It's nice to me, never! in there they're trying to turn you against me. You store that in your head. You store it in your head, Frank. Keep it stored in your head. Store it in your head. Where are you going, Dad? I forgotten what it was like. Get in here, Frank. I've had my wings clipped, so to speak. Mum was right. Hey. Hey. You saw him kissing. That's what I brought you here for. You did see him, didn't you? Leaving me here on my own at Christmas. Come on. Let's see the good times, Ralph. I'll show you we used to be happy. I mean, I don't want you remembering me as. Dad reckons that you're the greatest Englishman who ever lived. Well, I could kick a ball. Is this the ball from 1966? Is this the ball from the World Cup football? Germans think they've got it. Jeff Hurst thinks he's got it. But... You've got it. Oh, wow. Not a bad view, is it? Is this gonna be my dad's cloud? That... I've always imagined him to be sitting on a cloud like this. Watching me through life. Is it gonna be his cloud? Well, that depends. What's it depend on? 
You gotta earn yourself a place on a cloud with a view like this. Bobby Moore, I've got your video all about you in the golden olden day games. Am I dead? You're not leaving me, Frank. No matter what you think, I shan't let you. You're my chat now. And I shall hold this little aim for always. Because me and you... You and me are going to have the bestest little life ever. You come back to me and... Oh, I know Mum shot soppy up there, sons, but... You're extra special. Good boy, and again. Good boy. Good boy. Are you Frank? Mm. You're gonna get better for me, my mate. I'm gonna get you better. And then when you're better and out of it, I'm going to give you a big party. In the function room at the Bobby Moore stand. Do you like that, Frank? Mm. <laughs> Take that notice of me. I've ruined everything. Shall I get you some water, eh? Do you want some water? I'm nasty, Mum. I think I might be really nasty. You couldn't be nasty if you tried. All I want is you. No one else. Nothing else. As long as I've got you, the world's all right. It's in focus, in bloom. You're my mate. You're my main man. You're my life. Don't ever try and leave me again. I've got you, I'm going to hold you until the end of time. Because you're mine, and I'm yours, and everybody else. Don't you worry about anybody else. Because as long as I've got you, I can shut out the rest of the world. I can draw the curtains round this bed. Did she really kill my daddy? Do you want to know the truth? Shall we go back to last Christmas?
don't you leave her here tonight, Jeff? Do you think that'll be all right? Of course. She's asleep already. I suppose there's no point in waking her up now. We don't have to carry her all the way home. <laughs> she's a dead weight when she's asleep. <laughs> um, I'll come and get her in the morning, shall I? Stay. Pardon? Stay. Pardon? I'm not saying it again. Pardon? I've only ever slept with Neville. Well, apart from the ones before him, of course. Well, of course. I, I, I mean, I, I haven't slept with anyone since he... Uh, since he left. He only left this morning. Well, I, I mean, I haven't slept with anyone since I've been married. A, a, apart from Neville. Oh, stop making this so difficult, will you? <laughs> no, you mustn't. Oh, God. I'm 42 years of age, for God's sake. There's no smoking in the bedroom. Mm. It's the rules, isn't it? Rules. Everyone's got rules. Mm. I don't want to break the rules. Oh. Everyone's got the rules. What are you doing? I don't want to break no rules. Huh? Mm. <sighs> mm. Oh, look. look. These windows need a white scrub up, don't they? How can you stop him? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. You might have a pretty face. I don't mean to say you can be plenty of verbal. I thought Mum wanted to take him... Childhood's a simple thing. It's made complicated by grown-ups. He said she caused his death. He said he was reaching out for her. She didn't push him. Catch him! I can't catch him, Frank. We're watching the past. What's already happened? You weren't pushed. You told me you were pushed. Dad can earn his place on your cloud. He's got to let go. So that you and your mum get 
can let you let go. You got a shower. You've let go. Let go. Can I help you get better, Frankie? It wasn't your fault, Mum. I wish me and Daddy had been happy and stayed together. And that the three of us had been a perfect little family, but it didn't happen. But that weren't your fault. Mum, oh, it wasn't your fault, Mum. None of it was your fault. Dad going, Dad dying. It wasn't your fault, Mum. I know. Nanny and Granddad, Tom's coming to your welcome home party. And the entire under 11 football team. From now on, you and me are going to do more laughing than crying. Is that understood? Good. 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 <laughs> Good. Good.
Stay tuned now on True Christmas, All I Want for Christmas. Alternatively, on True Movies 2, The Waltons, and on True Entertainment, November Christmas.